Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday morning as usual. Yesterday, which is the day I'm recording this, is inde was Independence Day here in the United States, July 4th. So to all of you guys in the United States, happy 4th of July. Hope you guys have all had a safe holiday and didn't do anything too stupid. Um, some people tend to do that stuff on holidays, but uh, everybody else, happy t Monday and Tuesday to you. Uh, so the last video I put out was the... Uh, get a lathe and have fun video. I didn't really know what to call that because I didn't want it to be about a specific tool on the lathe. I didn't want it to be about, you know, the lathe itself. I didn't really want it to be about the, the platter that I was making. It was just the concept of just, just have fun with it because that's what it is. It's, it's a fun, fun machine. Obviously, it's a practical machine to make stuff, uh, but you can have a lot of fun on it. And um, it was well received, which was great. Uh, I do plan on making some other stuff on the lathe, uh, which is, matter of fact, is what I'm doing right now. Just made, uh, the next video is going to be a leg vise. I've just turned this leg vise hub, and this is for Sean Stone, a friend of mine who's somewhat local to me, and, um, and not my design, by the way, on this whole leg vise setup. I'm basically copying Dima Gamma Yunoff's leg vise kit uh, so when I made my workbench I did not have a lathe so it was more convenient for me to get a kit from Dima um, and that was already turned now that I have a lathe I could actually make one so I'm making one of these for like I said a buddy of mine uh, be sure to check out Dima's channel I'll post links to, to link to it down below as well as Sean Stone's channel I'll post a link to it as well uh, so I've got the hub done for the most part, I still have to uh, drill out the hole for the handle, and then the hub will be done. And then the chop, ugh, it's the same shape as mine. The front top up here is angled slightly, and then the uh, 12 inches down, it tapers down on both sides to a thinner bottom. Uh, so I've got the majority of it done, and I want to do, instead of like a um, metal retaining ring, I want to do something nice out of hardwood, so maybe maybe a piece of some really straight grain sapili, or I've got some pieces of purple heart or something along those lines. Um, I don't know if I want to use purple heart though, because I want I'll, I'll I'll have to resaw my only blank. Either way, I'll figure it out. I'll do something. Um, but that's going to be a fun project, uh, fun video this week. Hopefully, that'll be this week's project. Next week though, I'm going to Sean's place and we're going to actually install this. And his workbench is a little bit different than a typical workbench. It's one of those that's just like a 2x4 utility workbench built into the wall, but he's got a nice solid structure to put a leg vise into it. So if you don't have a standalone solid top uh, workbench, you can still use one of these leg vise setups in just a regular 2x4 uh, workbench that's you know kind of built into the wall. So if that was your limiting factor before of having something... A nice vice to work with, um, not having a dedicated solid top workbench, then uh, be sure to check out that video as well. Uh, upcoming stuff next week, I think it's next week, time's flying right now. Uh, I'm going to Wisconsin to uh, Nick Ferry's place. We're going to do some collaboration stuff, myself as well as April Wilkerson. So we've got six videos planned for the time that we're up there. Hopefully we can get them all done. Uh, we also have a get together, a meetup one night, and I can't remember the dates. Like I said, time's flying, so I'll put it on the screen as well. Um, be sure to, uh, if you're in the area, swing by. I'd love to meet as many people as possible, uh, as well as uh, Nick and April would also like to meet as many of you guys out there as possible. So. That's upcoming. What else? Uh, a solid week after I get back from Wisconsin, uh, my wife and her best friend planned something in Florida that I'm obligated to go to. So I've got to drive to Florida for whatever that is. Um, and after that, let's see, that was that's August. Uh, after that, it's September and woodworking in America. Uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio, we haven't, I haven't figured out any of the fine details as far as I get together, but I'd like to do some type of after the show dinner one of the nights. Um, that would be cool. And directly after that, 
I'm driving again to Michigan for my sister's wedding, and one day up there, I'm thinking the Saturday after Woodworking in America concludes, so a solid week after that. Again, I don't know the dates, but I will let you guys know in the upcoming vlogs and such. Um, I'd like to do a kind of like a meet and greet somewhere there. Uh, I know um, uh, DIY Tyler, Tyler G here on YouTube, he's in the local area. And why am I going blank? There's a couple more people that would uh, that mentioned doing some type of get together up there. So a lot of traveling coming up. That is obviously going to affect my release schedule as far as publishing content. So uh, I know um, every time I, I miss a week, I get a couple of emails here and there asking what's going on. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. I'm traveling and there's just no way I can maintain that release schedule. And believe me, I wish I could because uh, the way that this bus my business is structured, it's based upon releasing content. So when I don't release normal content, then um, it affects my income. So believe me, I, I wish I could do it every week. Uh, I think that's it. Um, today is, like I said, July 4th, so I'm, I woke up at 5 a.m. to get here in the shop and get working. Uh, it's going to be cut short, though, because my wife's family is coming in to spend the entire day and tomorrow, and then tomorrow we've got, my wife's got something planned with uh, some other parts of her family in Jackson, Mississippi, so there's today and tomorrow completely gone for shop time, and I'm trying to schedule some stuff with Sean, so it's, I'm losing time very quick this week, but anyway... Like I said, I am losing time, so I got to get back to work. Uh, you guys take care. Have a great day, and I will talk to you in a couple days.